Hello guys, my name is Alexander Stepanov. It's time to show you the differences how we can apply nails extensions on short nail plate and on different nail the difficult nail plate and um, we will compare this process with the pedicure works I will apply extensions on uh, toenails and on fingernails and uh, as you can see the same the same thing in all techniques at first we should disinfect hands and uh, toenails before this is very important after that in the first and in the second cases as for toenails and either for fingernails we should roll down cuticles as, per as perfectly as we can especially in case if we are going to apply the color the pure color cut on the whole nail plate this will help you to place the product close to cuticles nowadays this is the main canon for pedicure or nail stylists is to cover the whole nail plate very close to cuticle and or under the cuticles it helps client to uh, it, it helps to uh, to have nails stayed on for more time for example in past uh, we had three we had one millimeter from cuticles so it was not so accurate and beautiful result but now guys everything is improving and um, I suggest you to compare that drill bit and high quality drill bit from the left side you have we have drill bit from Chinese store and from the right side with blue line the professional natural diamond drill bit which is much better for working because it's removing twice faster and twice effective the pterygia we work with the medium speed with this drill bit and we work from the forward speed when we move this drill bit from the right to the left side with the forward speed so you should feel when you move your the drill bit from right to left it it should twist it, it should twist it to the opposite side and only this way it will be removing the pterygia we are turning on the reverse speed and working with the other side it's very important now guys because some nail technicians don't pay maximum attention on this process and this is the main mistake of them that's why they have liftings some of them some of them te are telling that they do everything correctly but they don't see that they uh, they don't see that they leave remaining pterygia and only after the long period of training the nail technician will feel the level of removing this this skin this dead skin what can i say so if you still have problems with liftings you should train your hand train your hand on more clients and never rush you shouldn't rush 
you shouldn't never rush because uh, especially on this uh, in this process and the next main process which we do in the first case and in the second case with the toenails and with the fingernails we should remove the gloss from the nail plate but not using high grid file like 180 or more this is the mistake because these files would only uh, buffering the nail plate and never leave and uh, never leave uh, lifting particles to the upside and this is the mistake because we do this process just only for the best adhesion with the primer and the base gel. The adhesion, adhesion will will be uh, will be will be working only in case when uh, when particles of the nail plate have lifted up with a file and some liquid uh, some uh, the liquid of primer or the base gel this way will penetrate deeper to the nail plate and stick perfectly so as you can see I have 100 grid file or even lower grid file for shaping and removing the gloss for the nail plate and some nail technicians after that start working with um, with uh, the brush for removing dust I think you should you shouldn't uh, work with it too much only to the from down to the upper side okay and let's compare the nippers the high quality nippers and the low quality nippers so I think you will see that these two tools they work differently now I'm working with a high quality nippers and as you can see it's removing and it's cutting the, the skin like a butter very easy without making too much pressure so it's very good to work with it you will have so much pleasure working with this tool but oppositely if you work with low quality nippers no matter where you have bought it in Chinese store or in uh, market mass market where there are a lot of low quality low quality nippers no matter where you bought where you have bought it it will not work perfectly okay primary nails as you noticed in the both cases we have removed cuticles and now we are primering the nail plate it's better guys if you don't don't put too much primer but in some cases where we have very short nail plate it's better to apply the primer even under cuticles you ask me why Be just because some fingers sometimes fingers of clients are becoming wet because this is this is the natural process of skin is to become wet I think uh, you might um, friends who speak English good will um, describe this process down in the comments 
So I had uh, I had uh, such events when my clients came to me with wet hands. In these cases, it's better to use acid primers and, of course, to not to economy gel primer. And after that, after curing gel primer in LED lamp in one minute, we're working with the base gel. We're placing the base gel and cure it either the same time, one minute. Now you see me working with the nail form. I'm using the same nail form for the toenails and with the fingernails. As you can see, nothing, uh, nothing is different with the technique. We have short nail plate on the fingernails and short nail, nail, nail plate as usual on the toenails. But it's not the same plant. <laughs> As you, uh, as you as you can see but it, it will be the same client sometimes in some nail salons we have the service when nail masters simultaneously apply fingers and toenails and uh, the client is sitting on the throne like a queen <laughs> I'm I'm always this these stories uh, always amaze me, and I'm always louding about it. Uh, I think it's not <laughs> it's not good. Uh, it, it it brings down the nail technician when someone is sitting on the throne. I think it's not okay. I don't agree to sit under the throne and do the paper. I think it's it should be. A sterile, sterile uh, clean nail studio with medical furniture so professional not thrones such velvet things cloth it's stupidly I think it's not it's this is glam this glamour is not uh, professional I think it's awful what do you think about it let me know down in the comments so, so I can as you can see I have applied the form um, and sticked the tails together and I'm using the sculpting mix gel in this uh, in both cases using it with toenails and I'm using my favorite vintage gel brush which costs about one dollar on ship of nail top comps you can order it to any country with free shipping very fast small small amount of orders and guarantee I guarantee that you will be satisfied with these products so we can order anytime in this store and we also have warehouses in the United States Italy I, I think that soon there will be warehouses all over the world so will you will you will have a chance to easily receive your products in a couple of days because, for example, people in the United States are receiving uh, their packages in a week by a local post service. So, the Sculpting Mix Jaws, as always, is amazing for building nails. A lot of people who used acrylic, a lot of my friends who used acrylic products before and started using Sculpting Mix Gel, they decided to stay on with this uh, sculpting mix gel and leave acrylic techniques just because it has no fragrance uh, it has no products uh, which you can be worried about um, I mean methyl acrylates and other bad products I'm working with the gel with this gel about 10 years I don't like telling people that I'm healthy just uh, use my products no I just can say that I have no serious allergic reactions after such long period of working with this gel and uh, also we have serving warehouses uh, warehouses where people are 
pouring this product into the pots. So they don't have allergic reaction and we didn't, we didn't have accidents to of people who have allergy of, of this gel. Of course, we, ha we, we, we need more time to test this product, which is absolutely healthy. I mean, 30 years, for, uh, 30 years, for example, maybe after that, I, I will, I will tell with 100 person that this is <laughs> this this gel, so you can uh, smell with this gel all the time, all 24 hours. But now I think that it's much better for for me as for me than acrylic monomer, for example, because I have terrible headache after working with it, even for 30 minutes. Because when, for example, I want to sculpt flowers and I'm working with open jar of acrylic monomer, it's awful and terrible for me. I, I know people who adore the fragrance of this liquid. I think sometimes I think I'm, I'm kidding that they are narcoholics, but you know, uh, I'm not I'm not such people, and I don't know to hurt, hurt someone who work who works with acrylic products. Sorry, guys, because I I try to work and I uh, I work with it with particular time. I respect you, but. As for me, I'm li I like working with the sculpting mix gel, and as you can see, I'm um, I'm just I've just never changed my view. No matter what trend we have, for example, we have the trend of poly gel now. But as you can see, I I'm I'm don't I don't publish tutorials of poly gel. Mm, any tutorials? I'm not gonna change my shoes, and uh, I'm working my way, and I'm I'm just I'm just going my way, and I'm just working with products I like, and I I think that um, this product has very good future because it's fast and it's professional. You know, I, I know that for for the beginner, it's not easier. It's not easy to work with this gel because sometimes it, it can be flowed in the, into the cuticles if the temperature in your room is hot. In some cases, uh, it's uh, it's uh, harder to work with than poly gel, but the poly gel has some uh, other serious difficulties. Because if you, for example, take too much liquid with sculpting poly gel, uh, you will have liftings anyway, and you will have uh, such floated, the same floated areas to the cuticles. Mm -hmm. The poly gel is uh, the same difficult animal and should be should be maximum trained. I hope you understand me. Um, but the sculpting mix gel is you have trained you, if you have trained your hand with uh, with enough time, it will guarantee you the good result. Uh, for example, we, we have we have great uh, example of my brother, my brother Andrew. He, he's working more than me. Last uh, five or four years, I'm just um, spend more my time on the shop, on um, reviews, uh, recording uh, tutorials, uh, uh, training people, uh, teaching people. But my Andrew is still working with his clients. He is patriot. He is just best friend for his clients, and uh, he is improving this technique. And every time she's uh, so, <laughs> I'm always trying to say she. <laughs> Sorry for my English. Every time he's doing nails, he's examining every his motion. He's like a robot. He's examining 
every motion and uh, he's trying to remove um, remove motions which is not uh, useful for him which is spending his time too much so just he is um, achieving to the perfection to the best result he is achieving to the perfection and um, this this way it gave him uh, the the best the best time for doing nails he he does the set with the full nail design for 40 minutes or 30 minutes not more not over than one hour and I think this is the great result as you can see we have sculpted the nail on the middle uh, on the on the middle finger is it middle finger yes is this is the middle finger of the toenail uh, and uh, now I'm working with the ball jewel bead so beginners they are trying to work with the wet skin on the first phases of the make this is the mistake because we are applying hardware manicure only with dry skin this is physical this is the uh, simple to understand because to remove the skin we have something like the dust uh, the special special medical powder to uh, to um, to have the effect of buffering the skin. It's not it's not enough to have only the diamond jewel bead. We 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 should have dry skin or uh, or the dust or the medical powder. This way you will never hurt the client's skin and she will uh, the skin will never will never bleed. Okay. Um I'm showing now different ways of removing the dead skin with the working with the skin uh, side walls pass of, of the nail of the finger. But the same uh, the same thing for this um, technique is the skin should be dry and should be um, uh, should be dusted dusted with uh, with with the dust of uh, the previous work dust dusted with a special powder Disinf uh, disinfected the, the disinfection powder if you want to know about this powder I can tell you and show you in the next my video how to use it because a lot of people want to uh, want to learn this technique but they still they still have problems with cut cuts and bleeding of the skin and uh, problems with uh, burns I'm using the special gel paint for the French manicure which you can also order on the shapeofnail.com it's not easy to find such high quality gel paint I'm, I know it as a professional because when you want to order this gel paint for example for AliExpress you can order all uh, all brands but it will never work with the same way why just because the uh, the consistency is different the mass market uh, gel paint is not so pigmented and thicker the, this give you white layer you will never you will never apply such thin layer 
which would be maximum pigmented so with this one thin layer we can apply the set the full set and never um, cover it twice to achieve the pure color so with this gel paint now this gel paint is in black bottles and you can order on, on shapeofnail.com the name of this gel paint is the gel paint for the French manicure we have two colors black and white uh, bottles are limited so if you want to uh, into, if you want to have this amazing gel paint to try it it's your good chance to order such good gel paint and of course you can apply some tones some gradient I decided to make the gradient with the white and blue so I just needed to add some some blue color and draw beautiful butterflies you know one of my favorite painting is butterfly one time once I just draw have drawn blue butterflies with detailed painting and play uh, published this uh, set of nails on my social media page and uh, the the result was an, was amazing because uh, it, it had a lot of reposts and likes those time good and beautiful nail design was so rare and uh, not often p uh, nail, nail technicians draw such detailed paintings that was about 10 years ago 10 years before <laughs> now it's not so rare uh, a lot of nail technicians now the, they they draw such composition compositions perfectly they learn this technique and this is this is great I think we should we should uh, invent something new but I know uh, I remember those good times when uh, people were in shock about such paintings such beautiful nail designs and it was very unusual for people so that was that were great times for me and for those no technicians who worked in the in that time but now it's good to, uh, chance to to teach people these techniques so guys we have to apply the top cut and as you can see uh, the name of is painted on the bottle the top cut which you can also order on shapeofnail.com this is the finish hard gel this gel has the tacky layer uh, but it's good because the tacky layer helps to stick all this all the nail design with the finish cut it it's always sticking perfectly and it will you will never have liftings I'm using zero brush and now I'm removing the tacky layer from the fingernail fingernail of my wife oh sorry toenail of my wife <laughs> she uh, agreed to be my model let's uh, let's take a look on the result before this is, these are not nails of my wife this is the model and now you see the results of my work I spent about one hour for this work and um, I have shown the same with the same technique extension nails extensions on the toe nails the same technique the same products the same gel paint the same sculpting gel and we have 
the arch beautiful arch nails so you can see guys we can work with toenails and fingernails with the same technique if you like this video don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel see you tomorrow i love you guys bye